This lesson explains the software you need and shows you how to get everything for free. There are several requirements to build a Joomla website, including a web host, FTP software, and zip software. All these requirements are discussed in this lesson, but before we start, it's helpful to understand the steps to installing Joomla. Step 1. You download a single compressed file from the Joomla website. Step 2. The contents of this file are extracted to a location on your local computer. Step 3. The extracted files are uploaded to your website hosting account. And step 4. Using your web browser, you go to your web address and complete the online installation. This process requires you to have a web hosting account, a domain name, FTP software and ZIP software. If you have all of these and know how to use them, then it is safe to skip this lesson. Websites need a place to live on the internet. They run on high-end computers with special hosting software. Now, technically, you could do this with any internet-connected computer, but you would need to spend a lot on hardware and software to do this properly, so very few people take this approach. Instead, most websites live at a web host, which is an organisation that specialises in making websites accessible on the internet. So, you'll need an account with a web host, and just about any host will have the necessary requirements. However, it is a good idea to use a host with extensive Joomla experience, and a good place to start looking is at the Joomla resources directory. The organisations listed at this address have been checked by Joomla to ensure that their platform has the necessary requirements to effectively host Joomla sites. Most Joomla sites run on Linux servers, however they can also run on Windows servers. As the vast majority of Joomla installations run on Linux using the Apache web server, these lessons focus on Linux hosting. If you're intending to host Joomla using a Windows server, then you'll still be able to follow along, but you might need to ask your host for help with a couple of issues. Regardless of who you choose as your hosting provider, you need to ensure that their platform conforms to certain technical requirements. You don't need to understand any of this, just let them know that you intend to host a Joomla powered website and ask if their platform supports the following as a minimum. If it is a Linux hosting account, Joomla 1.6 and above needs at least Apache version 2, PHP version 5.2.4 and MySQL version 5.0.4. If it is a Windows hosting account, it needs Windows IIS version 7, PHP version 5.2.4, and MySQL version 5.1. Every website needs an address, better known as a domain name. You're no doubt familiar enough with domains, otherwise you wouldn't have found your way here. But you might not have ever bought one yourself. Although there are hundreds of places to buy a domain, start looking at your web host. Most hosts provide domains as well as hosting, and it is advantageous to use the same supplier for both, so you just have the one contact. Incidentally, you can set up an environment on your local computer to develop a Joomla site, but this is an advanced technique and tends to be a much more difficult process for beginners. This technique is demonstrated in our Joomla Pro course. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It is a method of moving files from one computer to another. Part of the process of installing Joomla requires you to upload the Joomla files to your website hosting account. Uploading files is done with FTP software, so you need software known as an FTP client. If you already have one and know how to use it, then stick with that. If not, Watch as I demonstrate how to download and install a free FTP program called FileZilla. Open your web browser and go to filezilla-project.org. Click the button marked Download FileZilla Client. 
You will then be presented with a choice of file options. Choose the one that corresponds to your local computer operating system. In my case, I have a Windows PC, so I'll download this first option by clicking on the link. My browser gives me a warning because it thinks the program may be harmful. If you see a similar warning, just approve it. It will take some time to download. Once you have saved the file, you need to install it as you would any other downloaded software. Open the location where the file was saved. Then run the program and follow the wizard. This won't take too long, so I'll wait for it to finish. Once it has installed, choose the box to run FileZilla just so you can confirm that it has worked correctly. That's all for now. You'll learn how to use it in later lessons. Now we need to get some unzip software. Lots of programs that you download need to be unzipped, so you may well be familiar with this process. These days many operating systems already have the ability to extract compressed files, so there is a good chance that you don't need additional software. If you already know what to do with a compressed file, feel free to stop now and move to the next lesson. If you're still with me, let's go and get some zip software. To keep this demonstration simple, I'll use a program called WinZip, as it is available in both Windows and Mac versions. Go to www.winzip.com. Select Download. And the click the download button next to the version that matches your operating system. Choose either WinZip if you are using Windows, or WinZip Mac Edition if you are using a Mac. Enter your email address if you wish, and click the Download Now button. You might need to confirm that you wish to download the software. Download the evaluation and install it as you would any other program. Strictly speaking, the software is not free, it's a free trial. There is a way to get it for free if you take advantage of an option they have called Trial Pay. And to do this, enter your name and email address into the box on this confirmation page. You now have the required FTP and ZIP software installed. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to download the Joomla files and upload them to your web hosting account. We're getting close to installing Joomla, so keep going. This course is absolutely free and teaches you everything you need to know to build your first Joomla website. We also have some advanced courses, and I'd like to introduce you to the first of these called Beyond the Basics. This course includes a bunch more lessons as well as the ability to download them to your local computer. We love teaching online, but we understand that some people prefer to keep their own permanent copy, to save the hassle of returning to a website and waiting for each video to start. If that's you, check out Beyond the Basics. All lessons from this free course that you're watching now, as well as Beyond the Basics, are downloadable. Just head through to our website using the link on this page for more details.